Refreshing Stories My name is Hiroshi. I'm currently working in Tokyo. I started working at this company called Wagata Kogyo after graduating from university. Wagata Kogyo is a small to medium-sized company. It's a typical family-owned and operated business. The kind of business that prioritizes family members over other employees. A family member doesn't need to have any work experience or accomplishments. As long as the person is from the family, they can get a management position at this company. Wagata's manager is precisely like that, and he always delegates work to other employees. But my motto is be patient and do my best. In order to achieve my goal of becoming a respectable member of society, I decided to work hard for three years in this company. Hey, Ohira! What's with this receipt for your travel expenses? What? That's the gas bill from my business trip to Nagano a few days ago. Huh? Are you serious? You drove there? This is absolutely unacceptable. Um, well, but you said that I couldn't take the bullet train, so I drove my car. It would have been free if you rode a bicycle. You could have swam in the Sumida River there, just like salmon. Swim there like salmon run in the fall? I can swim, but it doesn't make much sense to go all the way from the river. Besides, even if you go up the Sumida River, you'll hit the Arakawa River. And the source of the Arakawa River is closer to Saitama City. It's nowhere near Nagano City where the business meeting was. Don't try to teach me about geography! Shut the hell up! If you keep complaining, I'll tell my father how annoying you are and get you fired right away! You won't be able to get another job. Nobody in the industry will ever hire you! That's not good. It's against my motto. Then you better listen to me, understood? Yes, sir. Oh my god. Lecturing you has made me exhausted. The report to Jita Group. Remember to get it done by the end of the day. I'm going home now. Uh, okay. It's only 10 in the morning, though. Shut up! If I don't go now, there won't be any good pachinko machines left. No, I mean, I need to get a massage to shake off all the stress you gave me. Then I'll go straight home after that. So he's going to skip work to play pachinko? Also, does he think getting a massage during working hours sounds better than playing pachinko? Okay. It's all because of you! It's all your fault! So you have to do the company and me a favor by working extra hard! Okay... Also, don't complain to my dad or tell him anything unnecessary. You got it? Yes. Duly noted. See you later. That's my manager, Mizuki Wagata. As you might already know, Wagata's father is the president of Wagata Kogyo. As a result, Wagata is always bossy and cocky in front of other employees. He would often leave the office during work hours. He sure knows how to take advantage of his relationship with the company president. <sighs> I was so focused on writing the report that I didn't even realize how late it was. I need to go to the convenience store to get some late night snacks. To be honest, I wish the company dorm was closer to the company. Hmm? Hurry the hell up, guys! Do you know what will happen if it's gone? Do you? Can you guys take responsibility? Huh? Yikes. So scary. Happy Turn and Cola will never be sold out in the store. I asked them to make sure they had enough in stock. You don't know that. If all the Happy Turn and Cola lovers come at once to one convenience store, the stock will be gone in seconds! Come on! Start driving! Yes, sir! Wow. So Yakuza also like to eat and drink in the middle of the night. Anyways, I need to get something for myself. And like that, I decided to stay at the office overnight to finish the work Wagata dumped on me. No, I mean, the work he requested me to do. Then one day... Hey, Ohira! Get over here! Yes? What's wrong? Could it be... there's something wrong with my report, maybe? No, it's just... I wanted to tell you that you're attending the meeting with the Jita group tomorrow. Don't go straight to the meeting tomorrow, but come to the office first. Understood? Understood. I can do that, but what do you want me to do during the meeting? You're going to do the presentation. You're the one who prepared all the documents, so you should be the one to explain everything to them. Mind you, they account for 90% of our sales. You have to give a perfect presentation. Do not fail me. Okay, I can do that. But first I need to ensure there are no mistakes. So please, go over the documents and give me some feedback. Huh? Uh, okay, sure. All the data and research that the results are based on are solid, right? Yes. I did my own calculations using Bayesian statistics. Normally I would prefer inferential statistics or descriptive statistics. But in this case, I thought it was better to find the cause from the results. So I used Bayes' theorem for this one. What's Bayesian statistics? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, I would have used Bayes in that case too. It's so obvious. 
No surprises there. That's great. Do you like statistics too, Wagata? Well, yeah, I guess I do enjoy using statistics. It's like the probability theory for Pachinko, right? As a big fan of Bayesian inference, Bayes and La Paz are like gods to me. Bay what? Bayesian? Is he talking about those who only eat vegetables? And Lapras? Where did I hear that word before? Oh, I'm sure it's from Pokemon. Well, it's good to eat lots of vegetables. And Lapras always joins everyone's party. Uh, pardon? You know what I'm talking about, right? You understand how Bayesian statistics work, don't you? Of course I understand! I have so much respect for it that I wrote my college thesis on Bayes! Oh, really? So did I! Seriously? Well, okay. Pretty impressive, Ohira. So from your point of view, what are your thoughts on the Monty Hall problem? For me, the value of event A at that time is- Oh no, I just remembered something important. Gotta go home now! Tomorrow at 9! Don't be late! Yes, I'll be there. So from your point of view, the value of P is- See you tomorrow! I seriously don't know what he was talking about. Anyways, P is for Pachinko. And that's where I'm heading now. Oh man, I wish I could talk to him about statistics more. Oh well, I'm sure we can talk more tomorrow. And the next day... Hmm, after the business meeting today, will I be able to talk more about statistics with Wagata? I even brought a newly published book on statistics with me. I'm so looking forward to talking to him. Hmm? Ah! Are you alright, boss? Hey, I was just trying to eat a happy turn. I didn't expect the situation to have a bad turn. Now is not the time to joke around! I'm calling the rescue team! Hang in there, boss! Well, but... The car's about to fall off the bridge! Oh no! If we fall into the river, my happy turns will get soggy in the water! Wow, he really likes happy turns. Hang in there just a little longer! You can do it, boss! Well, out of the two of us, you'll survive at least. So call our business partners and... Tell them I'm sorry. BOSS! Oh no! He's a Yakuza after all, but still, it's someone's life we're talking about. We have to get him out, ASAP! I want to help, but I can't swim at all. Plus, my boss is a big guy. I don't know what to do. Call an ambulance now, and your business partners too. Call them. I'll help him. Here I come! Oh shit! I should have put the bag down before jumping in. Whatever, gotta save him first. Are you okay? I'm here to help. Get Cola out first! I can't breathe! I don't understand a word you're saying! I need to get you out of here now! Quick! Grab my backpack! Thank you... so much! Good! Let's go up! Are you okay? My Cola... Still? Are you for real? Just buy another can of Cola and drink it! Pull yourself together! Oh, that's right! I could just buy some more! This Yakuza guy doesn't seem too bright. Are you okay, boss? I'm fine. More importantly, go get me some cola, right now. This obsession of yours is incredible. Oh shit, I'm late, gotta run! Is everything all right, bro? I'm fine for now. I need to be somewhere for something important. All right, goodbye! Wait, I didn't get your name! Oh no, oh no, I'm so gonna be late! All oh, right, I should call them and let them know I'll be late. Oh no, 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 no! My phone's folded! I need to run now! Run for my life! I'm so sorry, but I, Ohira, have arrived. What the hell are you doing? You're late for a meeting where the company president is present, not to mention our business partners. You've got some nerve! No, no, I can explain. I saw a car accident on my way here, so I helped the person in the car. That's why I was late. Lies! You're just chickening out, aren't you? No, I'm not. I really saved someone from a car that fell into the river. And that person was a Yakuza. It might sound ridiculous, but it's true. The fact that I'm soaking wet proves I jumped into the river and saved that person. Who would believe such a cartoonish lie? I can't believe you get yourself soaking wet just to make a cowardice alibi for yourself. You're the ultimate coward. You were so scared to give the presentation that you wet yourself with your tears and piss, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Why would any sensible grown-ups do something like that? You gotta believe me, I'm telling the truth! Wagata told me that you're really a useless employee. Your excuses are terrible. And more importantly, you're a grown man who peed his pants. I didn't! I really jumped into the river to save people! Please believe me! 
Did you really think that you could scare me by saying the word Yakuza? You're a grown man, but your lies are on an elementary level. You're really something, aren't you? I'm not lying. I'm telling you the truth. Wait, what about the meeting? Are we making the client wait? It's not your concern now. You're not our employee anymore. What? You came late, you lied, and you peed your pants. You're a total failure as a member of society. You're fired as of today. What? Why would you do that? You can't do your job and you're a big liar. We don't need someone like you in our company. Most of all, you're disrespectful to our client, you scumbag. Wait a minute. I'll apologize to the client. Please, you can't fire me. I have a motto. I have to do my best. I don't care what your motto is. Get out of here. Oh, no. Hand over the keys to your dorm room. You're evicted from the company dorm. No, wait a minute. My personal belongings are still in my room. Blame yourself. You deserve what's coming to you. Get lost, you liar. Duh! It hurts! See you never, you little blowhard. You should learn to make more decent lies that won't get you caught from now on. That's a little too harsh. I know I'm late, and I shouldn't have been late. But I really didn't do anything wrong. So after that, I was soaking wet and couldn't even change my clothes. I went to the park and sat on a park bench, and my brain went blank. I never thought I'd be homeless one day. What am I going to do now? <sighs> huh? What? What? Thank goodness I finally found you! I've searched everywhere for you! Um, what? What do you want? You know what I want, don't you? He's waiting for you! Oh, the Yakuza from this morning! Uh, well, uh... Come on, get in the car! Hurry up! Yes, I'll get in. Um, excuse me, but... What are you going to do to me? Huh? Well, first of all, our boss will welcome you, that's for sure. He's pretty excited about seeing you. Welcome me? Excited? Is he going to retaliate for me slapping him? Wait a minute. Is there something I can do to avoid that? No, I don't think so. From the looks of it, you probably won't be able to move after. My life's over. I see. Thank you very much for watching this video. As of today, Hiroshi Ohira will be leaving this world for the pure land of eternal bliss. Who are you talking to? We're here! Wow, what a big house. This will be my grave. Come on, this way! Oh hey, I've been waiting for you. Welcome to my home. Oh, uh, I know I just got here, but is there any way you could do this differently? I can go to the Bering Sea or, in the worst case scenario, go to jail for someone else. Just spare my life, please! What are you talking about? Just come over here and sniff this powder with me. <sighs> oh, um, I, uh, I thought that kind of thing was illegal. Happy Turns powder is the best. What? The powder of Happy Turn? That's very misleading. <laughs> That's what happens when you inhale cookie powder. Boss, are you okay? Yeah. <sighs> Cola is the best. It's so good and refreshing. I feel alive again. If it wasn't for you, I most likely wouldn't be able to enjoy it ever again. I can't thank you enough. <sighs> oh, this is unexpected. It's like opening a Happy Meal bag and getting something totally different. What did you say? Oh, nothing. I didn't say anything. Speaking of which, how are you feeling now? I hope I didn't break anything when I slapped you. Is your head okay? You call that a slap? It was as gentle as a breeze. I'm alive and well. Now let's have some happy turns and be happy together. Thank you very much. But I can't be happy right now. I'm in a serious life crisis. Huh? What's the matter? Wait. Why are you still wet? You'll catch a cold if you don't change. Well, the thing is, I don't regret helping you at all. But because I did, I was late for a very important business meeting. As a result, I got fired from my job and kicked out of the company dorm. What? Just because you helped me? I'm sorry for everything that happened to you. No, no, don't be. It's okay. I chose to help you. It's not your fault. I also hit you in the head, so don't worry about me. Of course I worry about you! As a gesture of gratitude, I welcome you to our group. 
Wait, wait, hold on a second. I don't like pain, and I don't want tigers and dragons tattooed on my body. Tattoo? What are you talking about? Uh, you know, it's a rule for Yakuza to get tattoos, isn't it? Or did I misunderstand something here? Don't get me wrong. We might look like Yakuza, but we're not affiliated with them whatsoever. What? Jita Group? Aren't you Wagata Kogyo's biggest client? I've been working at Wagata until today! Wagata Kogyo? Wow! What a coincidence! I can't believe you were working for Wagata! We were destined to meet! This must be fate! <laughs> what are you talking? Actually, yeah! You're right! Wait, I got into the accident on my way to the business meeting, so the meeting was moved to tomorrow. You being late to the meeting today didn't hurt anything. What? Really? But the manager and the company president fired me anyway! How dare they! They can't treat my lifesaver like this! Alright, you're coming with me to the meeting tomorrow. And also, you can stay at my home today. Oh, uh, um, then we can have a snack party all night long today! You're not sleeping tonight! <laughs> Wow, this is even more unexpected. But I want to sleep, boss! The following day, after a sleepless night... Hey, manager! Are you ready to give the presentation today? I see a lot of cheat notes on difficult kanjis in the documents. Are you sure you can do it? Yeah, leave it to me, Dad! Uh, I mean, President! It'll be fine, as long as we show them the documents. Hey, guys! Good morning! Oh, hello, President! We've been expecting you. Sorry about yesterday. Stuff came up, you know. Don't worry about it. For you, I'll wait in fire and water for however many hours. I see. Shall we start? Let's hear the report. Of course. We'll start now. First, our manager will present the report to you. Um, well, yes, I... I have the documents here. Please, have a look. Thank you very much. What? Give the presentation properly. Now! Well, um, the report... Everything is written in the documents. Please, take a look. Thank you. Tell me, how did you get this likelihood function? What is he talking about? Likelihood what? Well, good question. Please, refer to the documents. I see you apply Bayes' theorem. What about uncertainty, then? I don't understand a word he's saying. What uncertainty? Well, you only know if the fruit is ripe if you eat it, but you'll know it for sure when bananas turn black! <laughs> what the hell are you saying? Who prepared these documents? I want to talk to that person. Oh, about that, he's not here today. He's just a useless prick who's always late to work. We've been putting up with his laziness and stupidity for too long. You won't believe how ridiculous his excuse was. He said he was helping a dumb Yakuza on his way to work. Is that so? I see. So this is what they say, Ohira. You can come out now. I'm sorry for being such a lame former employee, but at least I'm not an idiot to know what uncertainty is. It has nothing to do with ripened bananas. Ohira! What are you doing here? Get out! People like you shouldn't even show up at such a serious meeting! What the hell are you saying to my employee? Answer me! Your employee? Uh, um, uh... What's happening? I joined the Cheetah group yesterday. Nice to see both of you again. No, I'm, I'm... I can't believe you asked my important employee to get out! Who the hell do you think you are? Answer me! I'm so sorry. We just... And you belittled my faded lifesaver! I heard everything with my own ears! Faded lifesaver? What does that mean? He saved me from the river yesterday. He's the reason why I can be here today and talk to all of you. What? So he wasn't lying? Everything he said was true? I'll never do business with you ever again. Our company's motto is mutual prosperity. We don't do business with people who only focus on themselves. Now please, wait a second! Could you please forgive us? Shut up! All right, let's go. Yes, boss. Wait, wait! You can't do this to us! Please come back! Let's talk! Please! Didn't you fire Ohira without listening to what he had to say? You can only blame yourselves now. <laughs> 
There's no point in crying now. You get what you deserve. And it suits you both very well. No, wait! Help us, Ahira! Please, Ahira, please! Our company will go out of business and I won't be able to go to Patrika anymore! You're always so selfish. Even till the end. Well, people like you never change. The selfishness is already branded in your name. After that, as a result of the manager and the company president's selfish actions, Wagata Kogyo lost its biggest client. Since they relied heavily on Jita Group's business, the company soon went bankrupt. The manager and the president started blaming each other for the bankruptcy, so their father-son relationship was ruined as well. What can I say? They had it coming. I'm now working with a scary-looking company president whose motto is Mutual Prosperity and get to eat happy turns every day while working happily. I'm so glad I turned my life into the way of happiness. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye!